Okay. So we will now see how to do a bursting creation. So I have some notes prepared over here and I, I want to share this link with you all uh, for this bursting. I will show you to afterward. So uh, basically, uh, as you know, for our bursting purpose. So uh, bursting enables us to help for the delivery channels to which we can share our report for a multiple uh, people, not for one user. We can share to multiple users. We can uh, those in bursting. There are several delivery channels are there. That is email, fax, FTP, SFTP, file, print, web, dev. So these are all the delivery channels through which we are go for a bursting process. So this is the first step for if we do a bursting. We'll first to go for a data model creation as we know how to create a data model. After creating a data model, we need to create a layout because as uh, let me just go once to the screen just to show you suppose. So, so just tell me, you know, first basic of bursting. Why it is used? So, uh, maybe Prashant, uh, Prashant, if you know, maybe if you can tell it summary, that would be good. Yeah, so this bursting is uh, when you have uh, re executed a report and it has generated some Excel file and you want to send that Excel file to a group of users to 20 users, 30 users. So that process is bursting. You are sending the outcome outcome of a report to multiple users. So how you configure this is the process and uh, bursting is just sending that to multiple users which we have. Okay, found. bursting. So my understanding of bursting is to send it to a group or multiple people uh, through a various channel. It can be through an email or other channels, FTP or other channels, which she has shown. It is not only one channel, but through a multiple channels you can send. But it is, yeah, it is our requirement, uh, you know, in, uh, that lot of reports we have to send it to various people or various groups based upon the usage of the report. So busting is nothing but to deliver this report through a various channels. Is my understanding correct? Yes, sir. And Pooja, oh. in addition to this, we can send this to a SFTP file location as well using busting. Correct. Like we said. have a she, third she party. She has mentioned FTP, FTP, SFTP, file, print, everything she has mentioned. So what is this file uh, delivery channel? The file I didn't use till now. I have worked with email, then FFTP and SFTP. Print we can Files. understand is go to printer. Yeah. But uh, what file, is file and maybe web I think some file path should be given or something. I also so that that is the reason. So this is the link I have provide. I want to provide you guys over here. We can get all the thing like let me show you so you can see for how we can use this. So this is quite useful. So whenever according to our requirement, so you can see how the uh, formatting is that if you want our delivery channel should be email, then these are the parameter we need to use. Parameter one should be email address. Parameter two should be CC. Three should be if you go for a printer this as you're mentioning as file. So you can see file means parameter one should be a directory. Two means file name. So this is the one. So you can understand that uh, some directory Sushil, file Sushil. will be given. Oh, yeah, I think it is nothing but like okay. you want that Got output it. to be created in file and set. Uh, no, no, set I it think it's in particular directly. Yes, correct. They are standing in the particular directory. Correct. Correct. Directory name and file name is yeah. also mentioned. Take it. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So this is the one. So it's the steps we need to follow. Uh, first week, as we you can see, this data model is there. I'm just showing you once. Nothing else we'll do. We'll just show you how to do that. So after creating a data model, it's uh, because uh, as you can tell that uh, before cre uh, when we create a data model at that time, we can give the bursting. But it's always better to first create the data model. And then create your layout also. I mean the report also create both layout and report both. Then again, open your data model like you can see I've done it. So we are already having this report and data model. Both we have it over here. So what we'll do, we'll just come to bursting option like over here you have and just click on this add. Create one. 
so according to your naming convention you can give it this bursting for to write a bursting over here there is nothing linked to the data model that in data model query we need to mention something that we are having bursting or something so over here we will have this bursting option the type should be an sql query data source should be an fscm as we use this db now let's come to this query part So before pasting, so as you can see, this split by and this delivery by channel is there. Okay, so what basically this split by and delivery by is there. So suppose for an example, we want to split it by a supplier name. We want to split it by a supplier name. So what it will give if we are having a five PO and for one supplier and we are having three PO for two supplier and suppose one, one PO for three supplier. So how our file will if we use a split by with our supplier name for PO. So only one file will generate. I mean the output which it will come that should be only one file for five PO. And one file it will come for three PO and one file it will come for one PO. Now suppose if you do a split by according to a PO number, then what if uh, it will happen? Uh, we will get a five files for the five PO because uh, all the POs uh, thing, the amount or uh, quantity, everything will be different. So if we go, if we split by according to PO number, so if we are having five PO, it will get a five files. If we are having three PO, it will get for three files. So this is the way how split by works in bursting so it's our requirement how we want to split by you want to split by by supplier name po number or any other field you want to split it by now just let me go to over here so basically this split by I always uh, equals to the delivery by whatever split by you are you're choosing it over here. The same uh, thing we need to choose it to delivery by almost uh, both uh, always stays equal only 99%. So now let me show you how to write a query for this bursting purpose. I was having one query. Yeah, like suppose you are seeing this query. So what this is first thing it will be a key that is a split key should be there. So as I have mentioned, we know that segment one means that is a PO number we basically know. So whichever column you want to split by from a particular report. So that key you need to mention over here and that particular segment one only we need to choose it over here in the split by option. Once you will put that query over here automatically in drop down all the list will come and you need to choose it from there. So can that's you go good. back? Can you go back? Just understand. Uh, let me just understand first. So go back, go back to the one, not in this one, uh, the other, other query, query. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so first, first, let's say your report output is coming. Okay. Now this report output, which I have it, has to be sent either. Let, let's assume first is by email. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I know whatever the output is coming, I do not want any other thing to touch or any other split or anything to be done. I just want that report output uh, to be sent in an email uh, to one distribution group. Okay. So how I will do it? I mean. So for according I, to my understanding. So according to my understanding, sir, if we go for a bursting query, the split by is the mandatory thing which we need to mention over here. Okay, because, let uh, me ask the question other way. Go, go to the other query. Okay. Tell me, is this bursting query on top of your main query, which is fetching the report, or this is nothing but you are creating the report in such a way? So it can be sent also by different channels. Uh, no, actually, uh, suppose we are having this main query over here or, or let me no, this is not. Let me show you. So this is our main query. Suppose we're having so many co columns are there according to our condition. This one query we're having, which we are having in our data model, in our data set. Now for the Correct. bursting purpose, this is a format for an Oracle Fusion to ah, write it in this it. way. And this is a form thing which, which you can see and over here one short query will there and in this short query 
one column should only be visible this select in this select for the bursting query only one column should be there which we are using as an key over here if you are using key as an something uh, some suppose as a po header id so in this select option this po header id should also be there so this key and the select top select column should be same always and over here only we can take as one column over here this is a bursting query but it will give us output oh, for no, our just just hold on just hold on just so bad puja so bad so puja i think the no. query the main query will be the same only the output will be one it's a single one right the, right right i from... can see sushil sushil if you see if you if you read this query select query what is what they are trying to do in this okay yes. they are trying to just take the segment one and rest all busting report this Correct. this 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 it is nothing but it is hard coded right so they are just selecting segment one and that to be from uh, whatever uh, po headers po lines and all so they are just uh, formatting the output of the main report by by using yes. this so only I'm thing is that uh, the select you know from you know the only they have a one key as a output but the uh, the conditions and the table this is uh, coming from the main query right the same, yeah. same main query we need to use but one column as a key key say key you know uh, key column we need to use Sorry. Can you change uh, this query here also? Uh, Suppose data model uh, queries can be different because if you see. Oh, no, let me uh, mention one thing. Uh, if if you if suppose your query is having suppose 200 lines query we are having. Okay. Hmm, so correct. what we need to do for bursting purpose? Just copy that whole query. Just every logic should be same. What you are having in an exact data set. For copy oh. that whole query. Come in the bursting query. Copy it over here and just pick up that column with whom, uh, with which column you just want to split it by. Split it by is some nothing, but it's for an you for an uh, you can see for an easy purpose to see a report. If we if I distribute it, suppose for one supply one page, it will there. So it uh, it is a flexible way to see a report. It will don't get a clumsy. So that is why we use a split by. But every query logic will be the same as you're using in the data set. Nothing logic will get changed. Split okay, by is so using just for an output <laughs> purpose. So we cannot add yeah, any more uh, where clause, right? The same where no, clause as no, the data same, model. Same query logic, you need to put it in the bursting query. Just in the select part, just choose one key which you are putting in the bursting key. Nothing else. It's hard code for basically, timing. I have done it the hard code. Hard code is not required. Yeah, basically it is group, group by. On which column you want to group by? You can say it in that way. How, how you want to split your report output to show to others? Yes. Correct. All the logic will be same. How your requirement, if you how how the conditions are, they all will be same. But this is a delivery. This is a one output way of bursting. You are providing can some you, others user. To yeah. Provide. Can you show the output of this first? Yeah. How output. how the how how this output looks differently? We just wanted to see this. So we can we need to then put all the query. So that will take time. Uh, no problem. No problem. Uh, you go ahead with your SP. Yeah, I, or I can uh, explain today the basic structure. Next session, first thing you will see how the uh, output looks like, how the mail come sure. and how the output looks like. I think that will sure, be better. Sure. Okay. okay, sure. So this is the first option split by it's gone. Next, we have this is the format for which we need to have, which I will share the link with you all. This is the template one. Template means nothing but the report name. Suppose, uh, let me go once to this. Uh, suppose this is a catalog file. Yeah, so as you can see for the name, if you just want to copy, go to properties and just copy this your report. This is a report name, which your report name you're providing it. Now let's come to this query, that particular report name you need to provide and everything should be in this code. You can see we are using this quotes option and all should be in small. Uh, the how uh, in, as you have mentioned the report name, same thing just need to copy and give it in quotes. 
next we, we are having the local local means nothing but the english language which you are using basically for we use the en dash us so it, it can be fixed for all the report output format so output format how you want your output you want your output format to be in pdf html csv whichever format is a requirement put it that next come the delivery channel as i have mentioned you in the excel you can see there are multiple delivery channel we are having email fax and those so that way you have to provide this delivery channel is my email now the output name output name is nothing but when our bursting that mail will go suppose we are doing, doing it in a mail format so in the mail it will show me that your our report name is po report this is according to your choice which output name you want to provide it now comes the basic uh, now comes the main thing parameter one so if we go delivery channel if we, if we use as an email so our parameter one means two which uh, to whom you are want to sending parameter two means whom you want to keep it in cc parameter three means you want to uh, whom you want to keep it as strong this all the parameter one two three all the values are fixed if you don't want to use suppose you don't want to provide any subject so about this parameter four it's not that you, in parameter four you can give it something else it is fixed what parameter four means by so it is subject which subject you want to keep it body which body information you want to keep it attachment true means if it, if you want to provide any attachment give it as true if you don't want to give it as false reply to if you want to mention somebody's uh, mail id go for that but if, uh, parameter eight means bcc if you want to keep someone go for that so the same thing i have shown you let me so this is the same thing for the email for you can see now if you go for the sftp server and all those so for that you can see parameter one means server name two means user name so according to our users client requirement we provide if you're having some ftp server name provide that so that is depends on the requirement which we have now after giving all these parameter values a next thing comes the query part we'll write it over here as from and we'll paste the whole query as i've mentioned you suppose you're having this query put when copy that whole query and just put it over here select one column which you're having in key and just save it what we'll need to do we just need to come to that uh, bursting which i have shown you over there so basically what they have done they have taken the output of that query completely into segment one and formatted it accordingly uh, the way they want correct the logic everything is they've kept it as same just the output they want to seg segregate it i want to see it in this way i want to see it according to supplier according to PO, according to invoice number or transaction number so that's the split by they have just added that part so nothing but we just to just paste it and we will just save that bursting query and uh, to run the bursting query if, if today we are not running it so i think it's uh, and don't to mention or uh, I just mentioning it to run after uh, saving the bursting query. We just need to come to report and we have to schedule it. Well, it's not if you're having ESS job, we can go for ESS job. As I've shown you in, uh, in ESS job, we are having one option enable bursting. So it's both way you can run it. We can go for schedule job. We have to put it. Uh, uh, I, I can let me show you how schedule does back end looks like. Yeah. So if you're having some bursting query, we will come over here and we want to run it, we want to check it. So we will just come to, we are, as we are not having any parameters, so parameter is not popping up. So we will just click on this diagonist one time. Just like one minute. So you are having this output options. Now, if I want to give it as bursting, I want I can change the name. I want the report should be in PDF. I will change that to PDF. And I will come to diagonist. I will enable these two options, enable data engine diagonist and enable report processor diagonist. This is for the debugging option. I will do, I will click on submit. They will ask for a report job name. Any report job name for your understanding it will provide. And we'll just submit it and we'll just check the history once it gets success automatically i will get my mail and uh, that we can see in the next session how it comes so this is the total way to process our bursting how to do it in the next session i will do the each step and i will show you how output